Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. So, we have four greatly, you know, gravely wounded. That, yeah, that got messy, frankly. Still, steady hands. If you did not move last turn, you gain plus A and plus 10. Hunker down now, converts 20% aim to the first shot on the following turn. Ooh. Given that I tend to leave in Overwatch a lot, I think steady hands is the right call. It's interesting, most of what I've gone for actually comes from the Gunslinger perk. Okay. So we have another Codex Brain. And we recovered a... Peter, 5% chance to instantly kill your target when you hit them regardless of the target's remaining HP. Ooh. Commander. Very handy. So we gained a new engineer and some intel. And soldiers with a reduced will. More susceptible to panic and cyanic attacks. Okay, so. On her next... Okay. Well, I'm, I'm immediately going to have to assign her to medbay because... You know, a lot of our best troops are in there at the moment. Which is a pity. So how long are they going to take to recover? Oh, wrong thing. Actually, let's look. Vengeance. Okay. That'd be very, very useful to have, but... Okay. Don't have the supplies to spend on that stuff at the moment. That's what I wanted to do. So. Eight days for Lee, which is annoying. Six days for guns. Nine days for Red Comet. Nine days for Aurora. Okay. Here's hoping we have a quiet couple of days. Why the hell did I say? Idle staff in the Cylon. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, because if she's going to be out for nine days, you can empty out of there, and you can help with the power. Somebody's got to shield that damn thing. Which is only a you know, stupidly dangerous job. Yes, I know. Ooh, Avenger Power, that could actually be useful. But I'm going to build a new radio tower. It's going to take four full days, which is annoying. Experimental armor. Stasis vest. Rent two additional health to a soldier, and it's built in med kit. Four will automatically restore health to wounded soldiers. Ooh. That'll be very handy to have. That probably means nothing's being built in the uh, warfare, yeah, in the proving ground. So, choose a project, and there's nothing I can do there because I don't have any Illyrium cores. Damn. Yeah, I kind of want skull mining at some point, but uh, for now... Well, for now, you're not doing much, are you? But These findings will likely prove Excellent. crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. And new research. New facility, Illyrium Conduit. Plasma... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Plasma rifle and power armor. Goody! Goody, goody, goody. Yeah, Solarium 115. Okay. Greatly increases the power relays output. So, plasma rifles, we can start work on those. Powered armor. Zerker autopsy. Oh. I'm gonna start work on the plasma rifles, I think. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll no kidding. As soon as the research is <laughs> really badass New guns is the obvious added. one. Construct the shadow chamber facility. Okay. Having developed a greater understanding of the aliens' encryption methods, we can now construct a facility designed specifically to analyze any materials we recover related to their avatar project. I would That'd be handy. Begin immediately, Commander. Unfortunately, I don't have the power. Which means that... Okay, so it's an upgrade to the power relay, is it? Illyrium conduit needs 20 Illyrium crystals, which I don't have, and 150 supplies, which I don't have. But, that'd give me everything I need on the power front, so... So 
so yes. I need more stuff, damn it. There's a supply convoy raid mission when you need one. Reading you loud and clear. Excellent. Alright. We ready to make contact in Chile? Or do we need those supplies first? I'm tempted to say we need those supplies first, so we got time. Supply Avenger drop. Plotting new course. Go. Oh, tits. Jesus, that was close. I have no idea what happens when we get uh, attacked by a UFO. Based on the comments about ground combat by the Avenger, I'm assuming that's what happens. Yeah, you basically have to fight off uh, some enemies. Excellent. Ignore that. Okay, I've got decent intel at the moment, so I'm going to go Avenger check the black market. New so they've got supplies I'm willing to buy. Alien alloys, superior scope. Duct tape not included. Superior stock. Ooh. Superior agility. 120. Yeah, I'd need those supplies. Kinda hoping they'd have a uh, a plasma weapon thing, but no. All right. Did you have any Illyrian crystals, by the way? No. Oh well. So we've got a decent amount of alloys at the moment. What we need is more crystals. And I ditched that laser sight because I'm not going to use it. Nope, I didn't. Did I confirm that? No, I didn't. Okay, the advanced. So I can. I ditched the laser sight because I'm not going to use it won't use that. I'll probably use that. That's hair trigger. No. The repeater is potentially insanely useful. And I spent a lot of money making that, so... Tend to almost to head back to HQ purely because stuff heals faster there, but... Uh, I don't think we have time. Will Intel rewards increase by 25? I've got that bonus. I need to suit up. That is insanely handy. Okay, there's not much to do now, apart from head to Chile to make contact. Idle staff in the Proving Ground, but I can't afford to do anything in the Proving Ground, unfortunately, so. Let's make contact in Chile. 30 intel. Setting course for Set course. Chile. Okay. Make contact. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Okay, and we have new targets. Counters one progress to the avatar. Whole bunch of supplies. Gets us a scientist and reduces the alien facility count by two weeks. <sighs> Okay, I'm okay for intel at the moment. I kind of need more supplies, but there's other stuff I need as well. And another scientist to be useful, because that's... For now, I feel like the extra scientists are going to waste, so... I'm going to go basic. I'm going to go for the supplies. Setting course for Eastern United so States. So let's go. The Avatar project's going to advance by at least one step, this uh, thing, which I can't do anything about, unfortunately, but... Alright, who's available? Okay, Viking is... The Ham is... Guns is... Deadeye... Okay, so most of our primary squad is... So, Comet and Aurora are still down, unfortunately, but everybody else from our main squad is up. So let's take Sam the Ham with us. Hopefully he won't die, that would be awkward. Uh, make armor available. Because she's going to need it. So that's the spare exosuit gone to her, which is fine. 
looking forward to starting to get plasma based weapons in here. Because that will uh, that will really start messing with the enemy. So we've got two snipers, which isn't a great loadout, but I'm okay with it. And it's only a moderate difficulty mission, so. Ranger Though admittedly, moderate in difficulty in this game. We're picking up a steady stream of so I'm assuming the Skulljack will basically become a viable w thing to use again. Okay, the so we're destroying an alien relay. So, we're moving in to destroy so the destroy relay the thing, kill everybody the there. Don't leave any hostiles standing. Roger that. This is a mission set up for extreme violence. Like all of them. It wouldn't be an XCOM game without extreme violence. Alright. Boots on the ground. Menace 1 5. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Roger that. Position is obscured. Before transmission complete, so we've got eight turns. Okay. Let's quick save here. Right. Alright, Deadeye, go over there, grab some cover. Fortunately, the enemy's still got enhanced sight range, which is annoying, but uh, it's okay. So. That's affirmative. Okay, you're moving to there. Valkyrie. You're moving over there. Let's do this. Seriously, they're getting full powered armor. Looking forward to that. But the classic you know, the standard comment about XCOM is if you have to prioritize one over the other. You prioritize weapons, then armor. And you will have to prioritize. The simple reason for that is armor will give you a better survivability chance, but the enemy can't shoot you if they're dead. I'm on the move. Scanning. Getting it done. I'll freely admit, Sam the Ham is not my primary sniper. You know, he has uses, certainly, but uh, primary sniper is not one of them. That's okay. Yeah. Never hurts to have reserves. Especially in cases like this, where the guys are wounded but not uh, completely out of the fight. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. I mean, I have actually had one playthrough of uh, the original Lexicon where I deliberately created a squad of six people and then never used anybody else at all. Even if they were wounded, I'd go into missions with like two or three guys. Required an insane amount of safes coming to get through it, but... Uh, Bypassing security. I don't know why I bothered to hack, because half the time it goes very badly wrong. Even on ridiculously high chances. Alright, so, 96% chance of that. Soldier crit increases by to yeah, okay, fair enough. Thank you. Okay, well done. So your crit chance is increased, which is fair enough. I'm in. More importantly, its detection range is down. So they don't know we're here yet. So Uh, move up to there. Oh, shit. Moving out. I'm going to have to end this part here, I think. But that's a reasonable enough point, you know, because nothing's really happening at the moment. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next.